happy. Awesome. Cool. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining SF Doc Fest uh, in our 21st year. The festival is taking place June 1st through 12th, uh, both online as well as at the Roxy Theater in San Francisco. We are joined today with filmmakers uh, for a program that is screening on Sunday, June 4th at 2 p.m. Excuse me, on Saturday, June 4th at 2 p.m. Uh, so hoping everyone can come out and join us live and in person uh, for our Q&A there as well. I just wanted to start off and welcome our filmmakers. Uh, if uh, We'll start off with you, Zang. If you could just introduce yourself and let us know which film you're here with. Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Yumo Zang. I'm a graduate film student in California College of the Arts. Uh, I'm the filmmaker of Distance Between. Uh, nice to oh. see you. Thank you so much. Hi, uh, Vida and Tony, welcome. Hi, thank you. Uh, we are both graduated from San Francisco State University and we're here with Tony's Cakes. Wonderful. Uh, let's just kick it off with uh, how did you find the story and what inspired you to tell the film? And we'll uh, kind of go back in reverse with Vida and Tony. Uh, what, what drew you to this material? Well, uh, yeah. well, it first started like a couple of years ago, I think like two years ago, I remember that, uh, Vito was telling me about, um, a subject that like would make a really good, uh, documentary for, and then it kind of like was just like an idea we had, but then like a year later, um, I had a class where I had to do a project, documentary project, and we were like, oh, perfect opportunity. Um, and it all just like came together. Exactly, yeah. Love it, it's so important to identify uh, those moments of storytelling where you can kind of highlight, especially such an important story as that you told. Uh, and how about you, Yuma? Uh, how, was, how did you come across uh, the idea to tell your story? Yeah, uh, so the person I interviewed is called Michael. He's my friend in class. Uh, and he's actually my first trans man friend. So I was kind of curious about this subject and I feel like it's essential for me to get more knowledge about it. And uh, yeah, so I interviewed him, asking him about some questions with you know full respect. And uh, yeah, he was happily working with me. So I guess, yeah, that's the story of my program, project. Awesome. And Yuma, what, what made you decide to talk about this particular subject? Or what, what kind of drew you to telling this story? So I guess the most, um, the first thing is curiosity. Uh, I haven't met so much trans people before, but uh, since I think it is, you know, um, very important, for you know, size, size gender people to know about that. Um, not only like, like in before, like only trans people make trans films, right? Um, but I think it's very important for size gender people to, you know, um, uh, to know that and uh, to see uh, how the world is like. So yeah, it's just, just, just you just want to make a film about it and you know fulfill my curiosity and know more about um trans people yeah thank you so much and uh Tony and Vita how about you what 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 made you think that this was the story that you wanted to tell okay <laughs> um well Tony it he he just has such an amazing story and he really wanted to better himself and you could see that and you can when I so Tony is actually my cousin so I've I've known him for for a while and, and just seeing him succeed and against the odds that he had and, um, and just overcome where he was and be able to grow and learn and mature and just who he is today is such an amazing guy. Like I, I have so much love in my heart for Tony and he is just, he's, he's amazing. And he has a very unique story that, that really puts into perspective for people, you know, 
what's going on, what happened, and that he was not not the best in the past, but he is changed and he is awesome. He is awesome, you know? And yeah. you don't, I don't think we see as many stories like that anymore with true honest redemption. And he really has that. And that's, that's a good thing. Lovely. Um, and then kind of to it back to you both. Uh, what do you hope that the audience takes away from watching your film? Yeah. Um, basically, like, uh, we just wanted to ask the question, like, um, like, no matter like what you are you able to change, like, no matter like what you've done in your past? Um, does that like define who you are as a person today? And I think that's like a line that he actually like says in the film. And that's kind of like what we wanted people to walk away with once they see it. Lovely. And how about you, Yuma? What do you hope the audience walks away with after seeing your song? Yeah, um, I guess for science gender audience um, like me, um, first is curiosity about trans people. And my friends Michael says curiosity is like the first step for learning and understanding. So I hope, you know, everyone could um, understand and, uh, you know, just um, understand this yeah awesome uh and you know what are you up to now are you still filmmaking yeah yeah uh mostly fiction right now but maybe non-fiction in the future probably haven't got a plan for that yet awesome and how about you too are you you've graduated did you graduate recently from state i graduated last night <laughs> And right. Right. Um, I am gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next yes. this summer. Yes. So, <laughs> um, yeah. How about you? I graduated last year, and um, I'm still. Yeah, I do filmmaking. I do music videos, uh, concert videos, um, like short mini docs. I haven't like worked on a big documentary since this one, but I, since then I've done just a little short one minute ones. Um, yeah. Wonderful. Well, that's just about all the time we have today, but thank you both so much for joining us. Uh, and again, this film, these both of these films will screen uh, at the Roxy on Saturday, June 4th at 2 p.m. along with the short film, Miss Panama. So thank you all so much. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.